Stick with me here. We're going somewhere interesting, but it's gonna take us a second to get there. I don't need to convince you that being able to plug your controller into your computer to play simulators is awesome. It's fun, it's educational, makes you a better pilot. If you don't do it, you probably should. But not all RC controllers will plug into a computer and let you use them as a joystick with a simulator. I have just realized that this is literally the only controller that I have that doesn't have the capability to plug into a computer and act as a game controller. So it's the one we're gonna go with. And the way that you would normally solve this problem is to get a USB dongle that plugs into the computer and you bind it to your radio and it acts like a receiver and it passes through the signals to the computer. But you don't have to do that because Betaflight actually has that capability built in. So we're gonna pretend that this quadcopter has a spectrum receiver in it. And we're gonna pretend that these guys are bound and that Betaflight flight controller is talking to that receiver. Well, what you can do is you can go into the CLI tab and you can type set USB underscore HID underscore CDC equals on and then type save. And if I go into the Windows game controller panel, there is my flight controller. My flight controller is now acting like a joystick, like a game controller, and it's passing through those signals. Wonderful, amazing. But there is a problem that this creates, and that is the topic of this video. Because this breaks the ability <laughs> to connect to your flight controller and configure it. <laughs> That is so stupid. Why would they do that? <laughs> look, 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 look how dumb this is. Oh, uh, my flight controller's plugged in. No, watch, watch. I'm going to plug it in. Where is it? Where is it? It's not there. It's not showing up anymore. And the truth is that this doesn't happen on all flight controllers and it doesn't happen on all computers. But when it does happen, what the F are you supposed to do right now? Now your flight controller is only a joystick. It'll still fly the quad, it will. But you can't actually connect to it anymore. And there are various ways of working around this like <laughs> reflashing your flight controller and wiping the configuration. But there's actually a workaround that's much simpler and Here's what it is. What you need to do in the Betaflight configurator is go to the settings, options, there it is. It changed where it was uh, recently. I'll go to options and turn on the option, show all serial devices. And then when we do that, oh look, there it is. There's my flight controller. Why wasn't it there before? I don't know. But if I turn off show all serial devices, it's not there. And if I turn on show all serial devices, whoop, there it is. It came back, yay, isn't that nice? And now I can connect and I can go into the CLI and I can type set USB underscore HID underscore CDC equals off safe. Or I can leave it on. You can leave it on. There's not really any downside to leaving it on except that you can't connect to it until you change that option. So basically, I mean, basically, just go into options right now and turn on show all serial devices and you'll never run into this issue again. Uh, if this video helped you out, just want to remind you that I have a Patreon. Patreon's a website where you can subscribe to me for as little as $2 a month. If this video was worth $2 for, to you, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. This is a problem that has bugged a lot of people for a long time and, uh... I only just learned about this solution recently and was like, oh, I should get the word out there. So um, now I have. Happy flying.